Hi, this is Tim from Latest 3DS Games, and I've just got another game collection uh, video for you. A number of people have asked me recently uh, my current situation with games. So you're probably aware um, I've got the capture card now, and uh, I got it for the uh, US version, and uh, that wasn't a deliberate thing, it's just the way it ended up being. So mainly I've got US games at the moment, and I have got rid of an awful lot of my UK games. I am still getting UK games though, so I thought I'd just uh, give a, a quick explanation. I will be still getting some of the uh, UK games, and I've also got a few Japanese ones at the bottom there, because I've got a Japanese 3DS, which I occasionally cover on this channel as well. So I just thought I'd run you through uh, what I've currently got. I've actually got two copies of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Uh, one because I um, digitally downloaded it on the day because I wanted it on the day of release and I couldn't cancel my other one in time. So Kieran's using that one at the moment. So I'm just going to run you through the uh, US games I've got and the rest of them. So top left we've got Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon of course. Then Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. Um, then of course Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Castlevania Lords of Shadow Mirror of Fate. And then the last one on the top row is Etrian Odyssey 4. Now the next one on the next row down is Fire Emblem Awakening. Then we've got Mario Kart 7, Resident Evil Revelations, Resident Evil The Mercenaries and Street Fighter 4. Now those last four games, Mario Kart, Resident Evil, the two Resident Evils and Street Fighter 4, those are four of the games I'm going to be using in the uh, subscriber showdown show when that starts and it will be starting soon, it's just I'm organising um, just some new thumbnails and just some general stuff. They will work worldwide as well, the online, so I will be able to play against anyone in the world. I'll also be adding a couple more games onto that list as well, um, like Kid Icarus, etc., as soon as I get a chance to pick them up. Next row down, we've got Tales of the Abyss, uh, Angry Birds Trilogy, Adventure Time, uh, uh, Hey Ice King, Why Do You Steal Our Garbage?, Centipede Infestation, Harvest Moon, A New Beginning, and the bottom row of the US, Canadian, so I should always add on Canada, I do apologise, and the rest of the world out there. Uh, we have got Chronicles Samurai Warriors, Pokemon Rumble Blast, Scribblenauts Unlimited, Star Fox 64, and Super Mario Bros. 2, or even New Super Mario Bros. 2. Now, the uh, UK games, the only ones I've got at the moment are New Super Mario Bros. 2 again. The reason I've kept that is because I downloaded all the uh, DLC from that. So um, I didn't want to waste it all, basically. And again, Kieran plays on that one a lot. Next one along is Naruto Powerful Shippuden, which is a recent game. Mario Tennis Open, that's another one. I'm going to be getting two versions of that one. I'm going to get the US-Canadian version as well, so I can play a worldwide tournament in a couple of months' time. So I'll have two copies of that. Then Theatre Rhythm Final Fantasy, again I downloaded a lot of content from that so I didn't want to waste all the money I'd spent on that. Um, also Lego Lord of the Rings. And the final one is a Kieran favourite, Horrid Henry the Good, the Bad and the Bugly. Now the uh, last uh, row is my Japanese ones. EX Troopers, Kakuja, Monster Hunter 3G, which came with my... Japanese 3DS and Guild One, which is a collection of four games. Got a couple of other retail games which um, haven't got boxes as well, but these are the, pretty much all of the collection that I've got. So I thought I'd better show you the other uh, couple of retail games I've got. I've got um, Rabbids um, 3D, uh, that's the US version, and I've also got Dragon Quest Monsters Terry's Wonderland. That's actually a Japanese game that I picked up. And uh, just finally, I will quickly um, sh run through the uh, games that I've got on my uh, 3DSs. I thought I might as well whilst I'm doing this. Okay, so um, the digital copies that I have got are, again, I've got Luigi's Mansion uh, 2, which I downloaded on the release day because I wanted to make sure I got it on release day. And the other digital game which I downloaded was... This one, which was The Crude, and I've done a little mini Let's Play of, on that one already and completed that. So that's on the US one. And finally, I'll just show you the digital content, uh, the full games, uh, and the eShop games, I might as well, on my uh, UK 3DS. 
So I've got um, Super Mario 3D Land as a digital download on my uh, UK 3DS. Now, um, I'm not going to run through every single um, eShop game that I've got, but I've got all the um, I've got loads of eShop games. I've got some loads of old videos as well. I've got I've got my um, games which I got free as well. All the um, Bastard games like Metroid and the original Zelda on NES. I've got all those. And those are all eShop games, so I won't run through every single one of those, but I have got a number on there. I've got um, a whole load of other ones as well which I've downloaded. I've got Zelda Four Swords, um, and there's loads of demos on here as well. And I've got Liberation Maiden, I've got a Monster Shooter, there's, there's tons I've got on here. Those are all eShop ones. So the full retail ones I've shown you now, and the digital full ones that I've bought as well. And the only other one I've got on another memory card is New Style Boutique. I have got that one as well, but I haven't played it, to be honest. So that's it for my kind of complete um, games collection that I've got, pretty much. Those are all my retail ones. I'll run through my eShop ones again another time when I've got a few different ones. So that's it for this uh, collection video, and this has been Tim at Latest 3DS Games. Thanks for watching.